deine Flagge. find George some t-shirts for Project Roy. Classic. I feel like we're always finding you t-shirts for things. Thank you. Is that for me? Um, and we got a coffee and then we got another coffee and then we went around some shops. If you see pasta flying in front of the lens you can see why. Um, and now we are trying out a place called Shelter Ball down on Brighton Beach and we've wanted to try it for ages. We've ordered a ton of food so we'll show you when it gets here. But welcome back to another video. We've got some updates for you today about our condo. Basically we've had a bit of trouble and we're going to get into that. It's kind of gone a bit weird, it's gone a bit wrong to be honest. But I don't know, we're trying to be positive about it. And we wanted to keep you updated because I know a lot of you, Kona's basically trying to grab the camera. <laughs> Are you the cheekiest boy in the world? Are you cheeky? Let him see himself anyway. Who's that? 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 And this guy fell asleep in the car by accident and we were trying to put him in the buggy to stay asleep and have his nap. Woke up after a five minute nap. He normally has a two hour nap every day. He's had five minutes and now we're just going with it. We don't really know what to do. We've tried to get him back to sleep and he's not going to sleep. And now he's hyper and awake at the table with us. So we're trying, I don't know. It's a bit of a weird day. Yeah, and speaking of trying our best, don't know what to do and a bit of a weird day, this condo thing has set us back a little bit. Oh, there is stuff all over the lens, Lucy. Did Co... <laughs> no. Did Coda, did Coda sneeze on the lens? Yeah, we will. We need to eat first, but we are going to update you on the condo situation. And the reason that you saw us get a coffee in the intro of the vlog, in one coffee shop, and then go into another coffee shop, is disappointingly, my favourite coffee shop in Brighton, or what used to be, or one of, they've changed the oat milk they use. It sounds ridiculous. It I know. Ridiculous. Coffee lovers out there are going to be gasping right now. Everyone else is going to be like, and does it really matter? But I had one sip, looking forward to my favourite coffee in Brighton. Can I show you this Driven all the way over here, parked up the car, spent about £70 on parking, because it's extortionate it's in Brighton. Right. I just drank both the coffees. Lucy had both. Yeah, we didn't waste it, but I'm not I had coffee. one sip and I was like, no, I, no, that's just not good. Off. So I, I gave it, handed it to Lucy and walked into the next coffee shop that I know I like in Brighton. So that was the reason for that. But yeah, we're gonna grab some food. I'm gonna show you around this place quickly. This is very cool. We've wanted to come here for a long time. It's right on the beach. It's like, kind of like the food. It reminds me of the grid in the Philippines in Makati. In oh, nice. Thank you. Go ahead. Thank you very much. Thank you. It's amazing. Very nice. Yes, please. Yeah, yeah. It's alright. Yeah. Thank you. Uh, no, that's perfect. Thank you. Nice. Wow. Looks good, pose, isn't it? Yeah, it reminds me of the grid in. What mall is that again? Um, Rockwell. Rockwell Mall. Power, power, plant. power Plant Mall. Yeah, Power Plant Mall. Power Plant Mall in Rockwell. Oh, Lucy's tucking into the pizza. It reminds me of that. It's kind of like a on the beach food court kind of thing. But you order from your phone, sit at your table, they bring everything to you, which is awesome. How's that? Um, it's not for me. It's you are so hungry. Oh, I thought yeah. you were blowing it for you to get get it in you. <laughs> So if you saw our last vlog, we went to the Brighton Coffee Festival and there was this company behind us here. How do you say it? Badi Badiani, I think. Gelato. 
insane. Delicious. Amazing consistency. And they were handing out like free coupons for a free pot, so we've just picked these up in town. So what I love about Brighton, you can almost feel like you're traveling. Like when we were in Nice and these like European cities, you can kind of do that in Brighton and find these little food spots and things. And even though we live here or just down the road, we still discover new places all the time. All right, I joked earlier about how expensive parking is in Brighton. Comment below, pause this video, put a comment. I'll give you 10 seconds, four hours parking. How expensive do you think it was? Just let you comment, let them come in. 15 pounds, it's a lot for four hours. That's like, it's like five pound an hour. Well, it's not. <laughs> I'm joking. I was waiting for everyone to go, hang on. Hello guys, I'm interrupting this video to announce something. And it's kind of crazy and it's quite big, literally. We are raffling off our car. We are selling our car with a raffle company and you can win this massive Range Rover for 99 pence. I can't believe I'm saying it. It's very sad, but it's also a cool opportunity for us. So we're just going for it. There's gonna be a link down below if you want to check it out. And basically you can buy as many tickets as you want, but they're priced at 99 pence each. All the terms and conditions and stuff are below as well. But yeah, we're raffling our car and you can win this massive car that was worth like 80 grand new for 99 pence. How yeah guys, is this it? is kind of cool, kind of sad, but kind of awesome that yeah. someone's gonna win this. Like you've seen this car in the vlog so many times, the Range Rover. Yeah. We took it to France, Coda's first little road trip abroad. Yeah. We took it everywhere and it, it's just an absolute beast. We love it. It's a 3.6 turbo diesel V8. Kind of teamed up with a company who has basically bought it off us and then raffling it. Someone's going to win the Range Rover. Someone's going to win the Juicy Vlogmobile <laughs> for 99 pence. That's I insane. I can't believe it. That's unreal. And I can't believe we're actually doing it. It doesn't yeah. sound real when we so say it out loud. Just wanted to insert this little clip and just yeah. let you guys know that, it's that live now. that's an option. It's live. We're going to leave a link in the description. Right now. You can buy as many as you want and the winner will be announced on Sunday the 17th of September at 8.30pm. <laughs> okay guys, we're back from Brighton now. Lucy has just made us. Well, I was driving home and I was kind of craving a fizzy drink. And I think it's because of all the salty food we had at lunch, like the steak and the fries and stuff. My mouth on that drive home has been so, so dry. And then I, so I was gonna stop and buy a Lucasade and then I thought Lucasade's not too healthy. Then I remembered we had a soda stream at home where you can make fizzy water yourself. Not an ad, not a sponsor, just a product that we've had for a very long time. I might put some ice in this, Luce. So Lucy's then made some fizzy water with some lemon. So kind of homemade lemonade. I've also put some sea salt in here for minerals, for rehydration. Mm. Oh, so good. Just a little tip, get yourself a soda stream. It's just as good as fizzy drinks. So, so much healthier. Nice. That's not really a good vlog angle. Huh? Next to you. We're trying to find a vlog angle, guys. Um... Or as I like to call it. I know what you're gonna say, a vlog angle. No, it's backlit there. This is fine, we had a food video here. I don't like that at all. But is it good enough? I'm happy with it. I have a better idea. That's the same thing. No, because you can twist it more. I don't that's think better. that's much better. House looks better. nice. That kind of works. It's a little bit 2015 sit down yeah, YouTube video. I don't love it. I got an idea. This is just so annoying to watch. Okay, I think that works. Yeah, that works. I kind of feel like we're starting a video now. Oh. We very rarely like sit down and have like a conversational chat. We used to do so many sit down videos. Maybe we should bring some back. I don't know if I like it as much. It's a bit more like YouTubery as opposed to yeah. like vloggery. I really, I want to change it one more time. <laughs> Why? I just do, I want to put it there on these pillows. Oh. I'm literally going to wake Coda up. I can't be, oh, no, that's just the worst idea ever. No, I think it's, it's going to be better, be I promise. Low. Because no, it's going to be. It's going to be rubbish because then it's going to be all me and you're just going to be this like person There you go, me. that's way more like, Are that's, you, no. Where are you expecting me to go? Really, that it that's that's like, better, that's kind of more personal, no, it's I'm nicer. Like right at the front. No, you're good, you're good, that's nicer. This is normally the stuff we edit out. And it's also weird because that's dark and that's light. Yes, because the sun, anyway. Coda's asleep, I've put a hat on because I don't know what it is, but past six o'clock something happens to my <laughs> hair. <laughs> No, it's not something happens to your hair. It is. It's that you get fed up of it being in your eyes, so you push it backwards and then yeah. it goes up. It's like... And I say, what's happened? And you look, go, it's annoying me. I just look like some kind of, I don't know. I need to leave in like anyway, four minutes. Lucy's going to the gym. We've got some dinner in. I'm still doing some work on the laptop. Coda's asleep. Oh, exhausting. Fun day. I'm not exhausted. You're not? 
Oh, What's wrong with me then? Why do I, I get know. so I tired? I feel quite awake today. I'm normally quite tired around now, but because I haven't been in all day working, I've been out all yeah, day. Yeah, that was I've actually really nice. Cody went down very quickly because he hadn't slept all day. He had like 10 minutes. He didn't sleep at all earlier, so he literally went into his cot fell asleep straight away and we stopped giving him a bottle of milk before bed and he's fully on food yeah now. that's huge and he's like since he was born he's obviously had milk his whole life and he's had a bottle of milk before bed every single day of his life mm. and it wasn't that he was drinking it and falling straight asleep but he was drinking it it was getting him quite sleepy and then it was helping him to fall asleep so he was like using the milk a little bit which is was fine but i mean like they say you're not i don't know do your own research, but you're meant to like wean them off the bottle at some point. Um, but it's worked. And we've done it for like three nights. We've had three quite difficult nights where he struggled to go down and he's been like awake and wanting to play. For about two hours, yeah, having so we've to had lie to just, on his like, floor. And... Let him play for a bit and just get more tired. But finally I last night- Imagine him watching these vlogs back. I know, he's like, guys, shut up. Um, it's like, oh, you look so young. Yeah, oh, don't, it's scary. Um, <laughs> I don't feel young. And yeah, and then he'd, eventually fall asleep. So last night we like cracked it and he fell asleep within about 10 minutes, which was amazing. Tonight he's gone straight to sleep because he was overtired. And yeah, but it's quite a big deal. So. And it, it just means that when we go on um, any trips in the future, we don't have to carry bottles with us. We don't have to be like worried about where we're gonna get milk from or carrying loads of milk around the world with us. Mm. Um, he can just rely on food, which he had loads of food anyway, but he was having like three meals a day, snacks and a bottle. Now he's just having a bit more food and like a big bowl of cereal at the end of the day as well. And today was a bit of an experiment. We tried to see if he would have his nap in the buggy, which he yeah. did not. Only because he fell asleep in the car, I think. Yeah, but we were expecting him to have like a bit of a cranky afternoon, but he really he didn't. He was loving it. He's he really had a great didn't. day, bless him. And we had a good day. I think we needed today because yeah, getting on to like the title of this video and stuff, there's been, oh, we hate to be negative on the vlog. We really do, despite some like topics we've spoken about and stuff in the past. If you know, if you watch the channel, do I have your attention? Lucy's like Sorry. scrolling on Instagram. I'm not scrolling on Instagram, <laughs> read my DMs. <laughs> oh, fine. Um, yeah, if you watch the channel regularly for a number of years, even yeah. in the last, I'd say you could probably watch three or four juicy vlogs mm. and you get the gist of what we're all about. George, I think George, it's lovely. George, Lucy, Coda, it's lovely family you're life, giving, like, travel. A, a recap on the channel, but I have to leave in like 90 seconds. Right, well, we'll, uh, so we'll, we'll, get, to uh, we'll get to the point a little bit. I'm just trying to make the video a little bit longer. <laughs> We are. My name is Lucy and this is George. No, no. We so, live in a beautiful town. Ha, ha, ha. Um, no. Why do I have my neck? <laughs> I'm not sure. Like, Where I was going with that is we're positive people. We, we, the channel's positive, positive topics, good vibes watching this. But one of the big topics on the channel and you guys, the reason we're bringing it up and updating you is because you guys seem to always have loads of questions when we talk about it. And also you know about it. And if we suddenly went yeah. quiet about it and we didn't give an explanation and something happening soon, we'll be like, why are you there? Like, it'll be a bit weird. So yeah. we need to explain the update so that you're in the loop. And it's part of our story. Like, the, yeah. we're talking about our condo out in the Philippines, our yeah. apartment out there in Manila, um, where we've stayed a ton and you've seen it on the vlogs and stuff. We're in the process of, well, we thought we had sold it. Let's get right yeah, into it. Yeah, contracts were written. We had got uh, a buyer, all like price agreed, terms agreed, payment schedules agreed. Um, all paperwork was being written up by like lawyers and stuff. We got right up to a contract point. And then right at that moment of signing, it has completely flipped and gone the other way for reasons outside of our control. Yeah. Reasons we can't really kind of get into for you know, personally. Nothing to do with us, but basically yeah. the buyer can't buy the property. Yes. Which so, leaves us in a very interesting position because we had turned away, meant like we spoke about the condo on the vlog and it, yeah, it's a topic a that always gets a lot of attention. Um, it's a beautiful condo and a lot of people wanted to is. buy it. And basically yeah. people that wanted to buy it, we've turned away for months because we said, oh no, if someone's buying it, it's no longer up for sale. Yes. And now we're like, hiya, do you want to buy it again? And they're like, well, no, I've already bought something else because it was months ago. Yeah. So it's frustrating, but it's the name of the game. Property is like that. It's not that, it is. like, you just have to accept it. It happened when we were buying houses in England. 100%. Things fell through out of our control. And Like before buying this house, we yeah. viewed about seven houses. Well, we had three offers accepted on other houses. Yeah, we thought we were buying other houses. Yeah. Even when we sold our flat here yeah. that we renovated before that you may know about if you watch the vlogs. Yeah. Um, when we first kind of moved back to the UK. 
selling that was wasn't easy. No, well, it's all part of this move. That was back and forth with the buyer. Yeah. And, like all sorts. Property of stuff. isn't an easy thing. Like it's a, it's a really fun thing. I enjoy buying, selling, renovating, investing. I love all of it. Mm. But for you, like waiting on buyers and sellers isn't fun. Yeah. So basically, it's up for sale again. If anyone wants to buy it, yeah, send us an email. Not, like, honestly. <laughs> so yeah, email's gonna be down below yeah. if anyone's interested because yeah, it's true. a lovely condo and, and we're sad to sell it. But like we said before, it's not big enough for us now. Um, so it is back up for sale. And maybe some of you who were kind of keen before yeah. and you thought like the opportunity wasn't there, the opportunity now is back there. But yeah, um, yeah it and is. it's just one of those things because we obviously then, all of our plans kind of get put on hold or even get set back months because if it's going to take like m many more months to sell it or yeah. whatever to get to that stage again, we've lost out on potentially doing other things or yeah. properties we were looking at. Like the whole thing yeah. gets kind of... It is what it is. Like we're not upset, yeah. we're not no, annoyed, like... we're not frustrated. It's just like one of, it's one of those things. Mm. And we're in a good position where like, we're grateful that we even have the condo in the first place. Yes. And it just is one of those things, but we just wanted to, my hands are so like moving. <laughs> and we just wanted to tell you guys because you're probably thinking like, what's the update? Have you sold it yet? We wanted to do a video soon saying that we've sold it. Uh, but instead we're doing a video saying that we've not sold it. <laughs> basically. Mm. I need to leave. Yeah, basically just up to this point, we've yeah. had quite a bad experience, but positive thoughts. Going forward is going to be better. It'll work out. Anything you're going through in your lives, have that belief that it's going to work out. Often things get harder before they get better. Definitely. You have to hit rock bottom before you can hit the top. Yeah. But we're not at rock bottom. It's okay. No, no, no. This isn't the end of the world. Nowhere near. <laughs> there's, there's a lot further down we can go, which yes. we hope not to. Anyway, yeah. you go to the gym. Yeah, are I don't we know gonna if end, Are we going to end off this vlog here? This Maybe. is like a 10 minute clip. Maybe we'll know. end it off. Yeah. I'm exhausted. We've still got some stuff to do. Thanks so much for watching. Yeah. yeah. So that is kind of the update. That's what's going on. Project Roy, yeah. we're going to get into that very, very soon. Ne I think next video we'll talk about it and it's, reveal it. It has actually screwed up Project Roy a little bit as well. Screwed in up? In a weird way. You say screwed up, I think maybe enhanced. Possibly. I think maybe it, enhanced. It's going to, anyway, that's for another video. I think maybe it's it's made changes in Project Roy. Yeah, so. If you know what I mean, which you don't, which you maybe do. Some people may be able to work that out. A lot, do you know what, these, these guys, these viewers of this channel, you will say like one thing seven, eight months ago, two years ago in a vlog, <laughs> one small thing, you'll get a message or a comment and they'll be yeah. like, hey, you remember when you said that? Yeah, what's happening? You haven't told yeah. us yet. That's why we like you to keep updated. Smart. We like to document this for when we're 118 years old, lying on our deathbeds, we're watching these vlogs back. We're like, oh yeah, that's that time that that condo thing happened. Anyway, thanks so much for watching. If you enjoyed it, yes. give it a big thumbs up, subscribe if you're new, and we'll see you very soon in the next juicy vlog. Thanks for also, coming along with us. We're uploading a bit less at the moment because we've got other stuff happening, but it's because of Project Roy. And um, Project Roy is going to be a lot of uploads. So make oh, sure Oh, it's going to be insane. Like back to the yeah. daily vlogs, guys. That's, that's my plan. That's my plan. <laughs> no, I'm joking. Maybe not daily. Well, we are daily vlogging now. Yeah, I think but we uploading are. every other day. Okay, all right. Yeah, little spoiler at the end there, but yeah. coming soon. All right, I can't wait. let's go. See you later, guys. Bye.